Hi, it's Chester Tuckworth from Blue PK and Computer Training. In this video, we're going to look at a new feature in Excel 2013 called Timelines. Uh, timelines work with uh, pivot uh, tables that have a date field uh, in the underlying data. So if I look at my underlying data on the other sheet, here's my date field. And basically, the database just gives me a record of each transaction, date, branch, product group, customer type, and revenue. I'm going to click somewhere in my pivot table and to get a timeline um, I am going to go up to my analyze tab. I click on insert timeline. Insert timeline's dialog box only shows me one field from my database. It's the date field. As I said timelines only work with date fields. I click on that little uh, tick box, I click on OK and here's my timeline. You can do some formatting with your timeline. Upon this options tab that now appears, I can, for example, change the color scheme. I can choose to remove the header, which was, if you look again, a little date field header up there. Uh, I've got a scroll bar. I can choose to remove that. You need the scroll bar if you're viewing like I am by months. You need to be able to scroll through your months. But if I chose years, I wouldn't need the scroll bar, so you can make that decision. Uh, you've got a selection label, which is where it says all periods at the moment. That will show you the range of dates that you're currently viewing. And if I untick time level, that actually removes the little menu that I've got down here. So the timeline feature allows you to filter based on a date field. At the moment, I'm viewing the timeline by years show my dates by years. So what I've got is a little, little handle at the end of the timeline. I can kind of drag it to redefine uh, the filter and you can see it automatically updates my chart and it automatically updates my pivot table. If I go to months. What it's doing is it's showing each uh, year subdivided by months and I can do the same thing. I basically drag to include or exclude certain months. Now this is doing a very similar thing to uh, what slices can do. Uh, slices were introduced in Excel 2010. And what I'd like to do is kind of compare and contrast uh, the functionality of this timeline, which is useful in itself, provides a visual way of filtering your data, uh, with a slicer. So let's just do a comparison. I'm going to rem remove the filter from the timeline and then actually remove the timeline itself. Now before I create the slices, I'm going to add the date field to the row area of the uh, pivot table. And I'm actually going to group the dates. So to do that, up on my Analyze tab, I go to Group Selection. Um, so I can have of groupings by days, months, quarters, and years. I click on OK. That makes a total mess of my pivot table. It's just like a temporary inclusion. Because that creates separate fields now for months, quarters, and years, which means I can create slices for those groupings. So I'm going to go up to Insert Slicer, and I want a slicer for months, quarters, and years. OK. Then I'm just going to get rid of those group it, the date fields within my pivot table. I don't actually want them in there. I only put them in there so I can group them. And I'm back to how my pivot table was before. Now I need to do a little bit of uh, arranging with these slices. One of the difficulties with slices do tend to take up a lot of room on your screen. So I'm just changing the number of columns that they're viewed um, as, especially for the month one, quarters and years not too much of a problem. So what can I do here? Well, one of the advantages of using slices is you can select non-contiguous months or quarters or years. So for example, I can select January, hold down control, select March, and then I could say for 2011. Now I think what you'll probably realize just from that dem very simple demonstration there is that slices are slightly more flexible in terms of 
the selection or the filter that you can apply. I can select non-contiguous items, I can mix and match months with quarters with years, and that isn't really possible when you're using a timeline. So timelines seem to be okay for simple date filters, anything more complex, or if you need a little bit more flexibility, then revert back to uh, your slicer option. Okay, that's the end of the video. Hopefully that was helpful. Uh, please remember to subscribe to uh, our channel. We're constantly adding new Excel 2013 uh, new feature videos to our channel. Thank